The first member of the PC family was called the IBM PC, or personal computer. It is separated from the rest of the family by the following features. First, it is based on the Intel 8088 microprocessor chip. Second, it has room for five expansion boards. Third, it has a fairly weak power supply with maximum output of 63 watts. This means that the PC itself can't use much more power than a 60 watt light bulb. Fourth, IBM never offered a hard disk for the PC, although you can add one yourself if you like from third party vendors. Two years after the IBM PC's introduction, IBM announced a new model, the XT. XT stands according to some for extra technology. People get confused about this, so let me stress, there's very little difference between a PC and an XT. They are almost identical machines. The differences and similarities between the PC and XT are, first, like the PC, it is based on the 8088. Second, it can take the same expansion boards as the PC, but it has room for eight of them rather than the PC's five. Third, the XT has a 130 watt power supply, much better, as we'll see later. Fourth, IBM originally offered the XT only with the hard disk. Later, you could buy it with or without a hard disk. Finally, the XT operates at the same speed as the PC. IBM has released several variations on the PC and XT mold. The PC Portable, the PC Junior, the PC Convertible, the 3270 PC, the XT370, the Industrial XT. All of these are either equivalent to a PC XT, in the case of the Portable, the Convertible, the Junior, and the Industrial, or are merely an XT with added circuit boards, as in the case of the XT370 and the 3270 PC. The PC and XT were discontinued by IBM in April 1987. The next member, the AT, was released in 1984, three years after the original PC announcement. AT stands for Advanced Technology. Under the usual PC operating system, PC-DOS or MS-DOS, it's merely just a very fast PC. But Microsoft is promoting a new operating system named OS2, Operating System 2, which will extend the capabilities of the ATs. The effect of OS2 will probably not be felt by PC users prior to late 1988. Many inexpensive AT clones can be found in the marketplace. The AT is a departure from the previous XT and PC models in that it has, first, a newer, more powerful chip, the Intel 80286, known as the 286. Second, eight expansion slots, but six of these are an expanded version of PC XT slots. These allow expansion boards to be designed that can communicate at higher speeds with the computer. Third, a 200 watt power supply, plenty for any application. Fourth, three to seven times the speed of a PC or XT, depending on what programs you are running and what model AT you are using. A variation on the AT appeared in 1986, offered by Compaq Computer called the Compact Desk Pro 386, it employs a newer chip than the 286 called the 80386 or the 386. Hardware-wise, it behaves much like an AT, although much faster. It can run at eight to 17 times faster than an XT or PC, depending again on what programs you are running. Finally, IBM announced their newest generation of desktop computers on April 2nd, 1987 the PS2s, the Personal System 2. The PS2 line is in many ways a radical departure from the previous models. Some of the major features are, one model, the PS2 Model 80, uses the newer 80386 chip. The PS2 models use a set of completely new expansion slots. Expansion boards for the PC, XT or AT will not work in PS2 machines. PS2 models offer new graphics capabilities. More informative, colorful, attractive displays will be possible as software becomes available for these computers. Similarly, these computers require newer, more expensive monitors. Many functions that do not come with the old machines, like printer ports, serial ports, graphics and mouse ports, come standard with the new machines. Finally, the new computers run faster than the ATs and, of course, the XTs and PCs.
The PC family started over six years ago with the now venerable PC. The PC is gone from IBM's product list, but dozens of clone and compatible makers manufacture good, cheap replacements. The latest members of the PC family, the PS2 computers, are not the last step. They have some serious flaws that need to be addressed, and no doubt IBM or some other vendor will address them. But we'll continue to see major changes in the PC market for the foreseeable future, and that'll keep it interesting.